Hey, what's up, family? My name is Courtney Wellington, and I just wanted to take this time to introduce myself and let you guys know that I have a new podcast out called Crazy Stupid Faith Podcast. Now, I know the title sounds a little ridiculous, and I did that on purpose. First and foremost, I'm a little crazy sometimes. I, I'm, I'm, I'm a little naive, so I can be a little stupid sometimes. Stupid as in good, as in funny sometimes. But in the midst of all that, I'm always faithful. Right? And with the title, Crazy Stupid Faith, in slang terms, crazy is good. Stupid is good. So therefore, I'm really bigging up. I'm really paying homage to faith because I'm calling it Crazy Stupid Faith. I got Crazy Stupid Faith. It's a million and one podcast out there right now. But God told me to start this podcast and I did it. Crazy, stupid faith is what I have. I don't know how successful the podcast would be. But when God tell me to do something, I do it. That's it. That's all to it. Now, in this podcast, I'm going to have guests. Um, my back was itching. I'm going to have guests um, from all types of genres, um, but preferably people that um, pour life into people some way, somehow. Um, I'm also going to have, um, and it's not one, of, it won't be one of these podcasts where, you know, only invite people that I'm cool with onto the show. I'm not, I want to, I want to have people on the show that don't agree with what I agree with. Because I think that's very needed in this time. Like we, we, we have to come to the table and, and talk. Like we got to talk this thing out. You got your views. I got mine. I want you to get a better understanding of my views and you want me to get a better understanding of yours. Now, will it be successful? I don't know. But I have crazy, stupid faith that it'll work. So y'all tune in. The website is crazy stupid faith podcast.com. Um, Instagram is crazy dot stupid dot faith dot podcast on Instagram and on YouTube, which is what you're probably watching right now. It's simply my name, Courtney Wellington. And for those that don't know that's my first name and middle name. So it's 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 my real name. <laughs> I started using that because I used to go on job interviews and they thought I was a woman when I just used my first name and last name. You know. So I put that Wellington in there to let them know, hey, 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 I have a penis. Shh. <laughs> hey. Listen, man, hey, I'm a man of faith. Right? Spiritual man. But I'm a man of life at, 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 as well. So, I like to have fun. I like to clown. Me and my boys like to clown. Like my thing back in high school and junior high was ranking. That's what we call it in South Florida, ranking. I don't know what y'all call it. Cutting, uh, joning, whatever. That was my thing. So I'm bringing that back on this podcast as well. I got a couple buddies who swear they funny. And they are because we all grew up together. And uh, all we do, man, for like the first 15 minutes of the conversation is clown each other. And it's out of love, you know. And uh, honestly, man, that helped me build my stand-up comedy chops and skin. Because some of my boys would clown so hard, like it would hurt, but I gotta take it and also come right back. Cause, cause what hurts more when you when you don't come back, you know what I'm saying? Like they hit you, bam, with a gut shot. Like, ooh, that's a good one. Everybody laughing, and you don't come back. That just make you look even worse. <laughs> and so, 
junior, well, actually elementary, junior high, and high school, man. My all my partners who from those eras, man, they actually made me who I am today. So thank y'all for uh, for building me, man. Appreciate it. And I'm gonna try to get some of my boys on on too, man. And, and we y'all see what we talking about. Um, yeah, we just we just always been silly. I don't even know how I graduated high school, man, because like I I didn't go to learn. I I went to to, to have fun and clown. <laughs> And, and in the midst of it, I got a, a, a high school diploma. Shout out to Miami Norlin Vikings in the building. Shout out to Carroll City Chiefs in the building. Now, I did not attend Carroll City High, but I did attend elementary. My mama would let me go to the high school. <laughs> Carroll City was a little wild back then. But here's the thing. I went over to Norlin. And then a year later, it got wild. So, welcome to South Florida. Welcome to South Florida. So anyway, back to uh, my point. It, this is going to be a real cool, real different uh, podcast. As you can tell, I'm I'm doing my podcast from my room. Like you know, I don't go outside. I I I know there's something out to get me right now, called coronavirus and racism. So I just stay in the house. Uh, one you can see and the other one you only can see it when they let you see it come on I'm preaching you, <laughs> receive it <laughs> I'm just saying I love everybody let me start that man I love everybody but the truth of the matter is everybody don't love me And I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. Because from a biblical standpoint, what you do does not affect my love for you. That's from a biblical standpoint. And I try to stay in that lane. I, I try to stay on biblical street. But every now and then, look at the fingers. Every now and then, Somebody that's side swiping, the next thing you know, you're on another lane, going the other way. And I really try not to stay over there, man, because that's 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 what they want. That's what people want. That's what the devil want. The devil wants you to stay off track. The devil wants you to stay off track. And um, I refuse. No devil. No. That's what you got to tell the devil. No. Next time you try to distract you. Hey, hey, hey. No. You got to treat him like a kid, man. You got to pop his hand. Get butt. Back off my life, boy. Get your hands off me, partner. Give me six feet. Down here in South Florida, man, people are not respect. They, they too comfortable already for me. That's why I stay in the house. Because when I go to the grocery store, because you got to go to the grocery store when you can't order online. Because sometimes it gets so backed up. Right? So I'm in the grocery store the other day. And I'm in line to check out. Now they got the little, they got the pictures on the ground for people who, you know, can understand that this is a real thing. Six feet apart. Please remain six feet apart. It, it says it. They got the owls arrowed off. It's like traffic at the grocery store now. So I'm in the grocery store and I'm, Checking out. Dude, about two feet up, like right behind me. So I give him the courtesy. Right? Gave it to him a couple of times, both ways. Nothing. He ain't get it. He even spoke, hey, how you doing? Would you? So I hit him with the, 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 the old school, yeah, how you doing? So I scooched up a little bit because I'm trying to respect the woman in front of me. I scooched up. That's a that's in the Bible or something. I don't know. That's in the dictionary, definitely. That's, I think that's on Webster. Scooch. I scooched up, right? Every time I scooch, he scooch. Just like that. Like you would you would think we we came there together or something. You would think we, that we were dance partners. Every time I scooched, he scooched. So now I start to swing my basket. 
Cause my arm about three feet, right? Yeah, my arm about three feet, so I'm swinging the basket. Then the basket about two feet, so that's five feet. So I can deal with five feet. <laughs> this dude still don't get it. Oh, hey, you almost hit me. Y- yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. Back, back. <sighs> so I finally had to say, sir, um, you're not respecting my space right now. He was like, huh? I said, you're not respecting my space right now. We got a pandemic going on. No disrespect to you. I don't know you. But I respect you, and I'm trying to, trying to stay six feet away from you. I said, can you return the favor? Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, man. I just, you know, my bad. And he backed up. And I don't like doing that, man. Like, I don't like having to tell people you know, the reality that they should already know. Cause it makes me feel like a a a a uh a, a, a ho, right? But I don't like to feel like that. But I don't wanna die either. So therefore I'm gonna go ahead and have to be an a ho if I need to be. Even though I'm not really being a ho, I'm just being honest and telling people, hey man, back up. I'll give me, you know, give me six feet. Matter of fact, I'm gonna reach out to. I'm gonna reach out to Foams Apparel, who sponsors this podcast, and tell them to make me a shirt called "Give Me Six Feet." Give me, G I M M E, six feet. Yeah, and put it on the front and the back. Yeah, and then on the side, I'm gonna put three plus three. Equals six feet. Mm-hmm. Back up. Back up. Do you like I do the devil? Get your hands off me. What? Like out of cats from <laughs> on Tony Baker. You all you ever follow Tony Baker, man? That's one of the funniest dudes as far as voiceovers, man. I've ever ever ran across, man. Especially them cat, them cat, the cat uh, voiceovers he does, man, they crack me up because cats always want to punch and fight. That's why I don't like cats. You got to work too hard. Cat, cats is like a, um, it's like being in a bad relationship with a woman. You got to work too hard, right, to get any compassion from a cat. You feed the cat, take care of the cat. You get home from work, the cat walk away from you with an attitude like, what you doing here? It's like a bad relationship. You try to go love on the cat. <laughs> it, it is a bad relationship. <laughs> Think about it. You you take care of the cat. You feed the cat. All right? You love on the cat. But the cat will literally raise his tail up and give you its butt to kiss. Like, mm-mm. I ain't got time for you today. Matter of fact, I'll come holler at you when I'm in the mood to come holler at you. But for right now, I'm going to go over here and piss in your shoes. <laughs> I don't like cats. I don't wish no harm to cats because, you know, people are so sensitive nowadays. I don't wish no harm to cats. I'm just saying I don't personally like cats. Give me a dog all day. That's the type of relationship I want. I want a dog relationship. I want a dog relationship. What do you mean, see? A dog will love you regardless. Oh, I mean, love the mess out of you regardless. Outside of the Bible, a dog is a true example of what agape love is. Unconditional love. If y'all don't know what God paid me. Unconditional love. True unconditional love. Um, you get home from work, a dog is super excited to see you come dive on you and mess up your work clothes and just be running the, the, the tail wagging. It's just a good dog. So that's the type of love I want. Love a dog. Anyway, man, that's my podcast. Man. I just wanted to share with y'all.